Georgia is just days away from a major decision that would dramatically limit access to abortion. The state's 11th Circuit Appeals Court will make a ruling by the end of this week on whether the heartbeat bill will go into a law, essentially making abortions illegal beyond the sixth week. Now, in the meantime, some families, especially men, they're taking matters into their own hands. CBS 46's Savannah Louie joins us live outside the Georgia urology practice in Woodstock. And Savannah, more men are now looking into vasectomies. Yeah, the day after Roe v. Wade was overturned, Georgia Urology here says it received triple the amount of calls it usually receives for men interested in getting a vasectomy. And these increased calls continue as we wait on a decision about Georgia's heartbeat bill. I might see a little stone here, I might see a little stone here. There might Dr. Shia Tagashian busier than ever. We are seeing a huge uptick. The urologist reports interest in vasectomies has more than doubled since the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. It's always the mention of, well, given the current climate, um, that's why I'm making this decision now. Previously, the facility scheduled about 15 vasectomy consults a day. Now they average 32. Interest peaked the day following the Supreme Court's decision at more than 50 calls inquiring about the procedure. Both the men and their significant others that call, I would say it's about 50 50 percent uh, as far as who's making the consultation appointment. Local interest aligns with the national surge. Roughly 500,000 vasectomies are performed in the U.S. each year. The Increased interest over the past several weeks comes from a different demographic. Whereas on average, I think um, I usually see like 35 40 to 45 year old range. Oh, well, I'd given the procedure a lot of consideration. Because Brad Slayton, a vasectomy patient here, calls the operation a safeguard for his family. A complete shakeup, a, a complete shakeup. Yeah, going from, you know, my two kids, her two kids, and then, you know, a kid on top of that, that's five kids. That's that's a lot to handle. He and his wife, who was previously on birth control, agreed the operation was their safest, easiest option. It's easier than a dental appointment. I'm in a procedure and you're done and it takes about a week for you to recover at most. Because of the elevated interest, we're told that it's going to take weeks, sometimes even more than a month to schedule some of these appointments. For now, reporting live from Woodstock, Savannah Louise, CBS 46 News.